Elizabeth had a way of talking about the Theranos story in exactly the way you'd want things to happen if you were making a movie about a company that was going to completely change the diagnostics industry. The Securities and Exchange Commission said this week that they were criminally charging Elizabeth Holmes of Theranos with fraud. Holmes is famous for saying that she developed a technology that would, instead of you needing a needle to take blood for blood tests, she could do it all with just a finger stick and a few drops of blood. The problem with this technology was, according to the SEC, that it didn't exist. And as a result, she raised a huge amount of money, $700 million, and was herself valued at $4 billion based on her shares in the company. We knew that the company's statements about how much money it was making were probably not true, but the SEC says that when Theranos was claiming that it had $100 million in sales, it actually only had 100000 Holmes is giving back 18 million shares of Theranos, paying a $500,000 fine. What's not clear is whether there are more charges coming from other parts of the government. Uh, this, these are not criminal charges, and it does sound as if criminal charges could still be brought. We really have no idea. She is still remaining as the chief executive of the company, but Theranos is uh, a shadow of itself. Interviewing Elizabeth Holmes was a little like boxing with Muhammad Ali. She was able to dodge better than almost anyone I've ever talked to. The lab industry did a really good job of trying to see doubt about us because um, because we're trying to do something different, and that's what happens when you try to change things. Usually when you're interviewing someone and they're refusing to answer a question, it's evident to the audience. But Elizabeth was very good at this certain kind of move where she would, she would bring up a fact or an answer to you, which may not be true, but she would find the most convenient way to make it sound like what you were asking wasn't a problem or she had the answer or she'd really thought it through. And she would sound somewhat credible. Uh, she was pretty uh, blatant in her willingness to say things that were probably or certainly not true and very willing to paint a picture of herself and of Theranos that kind of fit the standard idea we have in our culture of what an entrepreneur is and what a scientist is. and There was a sense that she was taking advantage of this huge opportunity for disruption, but instead of taking advantage by developing a new technology, she kind of took advantage by appealing to people's hopes and wishes for what might happen.